Welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you can join me again today for this exciting review. Today we're going to be doing Nash Bridges, the complete, released, partially remastered Blu-ray series. And I'll explain what I mean about that here as we get into this. But this one it is a complete series review, which I'm always excited about. I love when they release these complete series sets. Before we dive into this though, I do want to cover a couple of quick things with you guys. As always, please make sure to like these videos, give them a thumbs up, click the subscribe button down below, and then also click the bell notification. That way you get notified as I release new content. That way, just like today's review, you'll get notified when that gets released. So as always, please make sure to like these videos, subscribe, and then share these with anybody you know that might be interested in finding out about a lot of these sets that they might not know were released on Blu-ray or remastered around the world. Please make sure to share these videos as well. Links down in the description below that are affiliate links those do help support the channel as well. So anytime you're looking for any of the content, I'll always put them down in the links below in the description, at the top of the description. Any of those that you click do help support the channel as well. And I appreciate all the support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments, the shares. It's been great and keep it coming. I do appreciate all of it. Now let's dive into this. This is Nash Bridges. And when I bought this, I bought this not knowing what I was getting into. And I had not watched the show very much before I'd seen it growing up, watched it some of the times but it was not one of those things I, I had actively seen a lot of and watched a lot of it. And now owning the series, I've gone back and I've watched it through and I've watched the episodes, the, the characters, the things like that. If you remember Don Johnson, who is the main actor in the series, this is Cheech Marin, and I might've said his name wrong, but anyhow, um, they're the two main actors in the series. They're detectives in the San Francisco Police Department. And they solve crimes and things like that. But I don't want to shy you away from the series because it's not a, how do I put this? It's not a dark crime drama like there are nowadays a lot of dark crime dramas. This one was more of what I would call a lighthearted, comedic police procedural crime drama. And it's very entertaining. Most of you should remember Don Johnson from Miami Vice. That's that's where he got his big starring role that he was really well known for. And I am going to be doing a Miami Vice review, comparison review, from a couple of the different Miami Vice sets that have released. I just have not gotten that done because it is a massive, massive work going through and doing those comparison reviews. So this one, I want to get out to you guys before I did that one so that you have this. This is Don Johnson after he was done with Miami Vice years later. It was 1996 when he started this series with, and he's actually one of the producers on the series, and most of you might recognize one of the directors and creators of the series, Carlton Cruz, and I might have said his name wrong too. I used to think it was Carlton Cruz. It's not, it's Carlton and then Cuz, C-U-S-E. He actually was the creator and writer on Lost. This was one of his first TV shows, and he did this and he wrote, directed, and then also created the series. And so it's a very, very well done series. It's got a lot of lighthearted, um, and I'm gonna set this down while I'm talking here about the series for a second. It's got a lot of lighthearted, it does have serious stories, it has some ongoing multi-stories, and even some of the actors, including his partner in Miami Vice, appear in the series as kind of a throwback to Miami Vice, and I thought that was great. So if you love Miami Vice, I kind of feel like you gotta have Nash Bridges to kind of shore up the rest of it because it kind of has some episodes where it throws back with those characters and they kind of tie things to kind of make it seem like they're kind of interconnected in, in a little ways. And I really enjoyed that. There's lots of loads of guest characters in it. It was on for six seasons. So the show ran from 1996 to 2001. And the show was filmed very interestingly. So when the, it originally aired for the first, it was like, three and a half, four seasons. It was filmed in 480p, 480i. They, they've argued about which it was filmed in because some of the film reels and things like that that they filmed it on had been lost. So there's only so much that they have that's available for them to remaster or release. So that's where this series has a, has a very interesting history. Uh, this is the only time the series has ever been released on Blu-ray. It previously was released like two seasons by CBS on DVD, then those were discontinued and out of print. And then a company, VEI Entertainment, came along and released the complete series on DVD, and then came and released it on Blu-ray. And the DVDs were played with, there was numerous problems. I originally had them, and there was numerous problems that, that 
I, I didn't ever watch them. I just, they didn't play right. So I ended up selling them years ago and, and I didn't end up thinking about it until I found this Blu-ray set and decided I'm gonna buy this, give this a chance, see what, what the difference is since I'd seen those old ones and kind of be able to give you a comparison of, hey, in my mind, here's what the differences are, here's what I see is upgraded and here's what's not. So the series was half filmed basically in standard definition. That's the way it was filmed originally and, and a lot of the, my understanding of reading the history of it, they lost a lot of the actual reel. So they had to take what they had of standard definition and try to upgrade it a little bit to release it on Blu-ray. But it's, it's a slight upgrade on some of the seasons and it gets better as it goes on. And I'll break that down as we go on later on. But to talk about the series for a second, as far as what you can expect from it, that police procedural and them being inspectors, it doesn't get too dark. Like, like a lot of modern cop shows will get really, really dark sometimes. And it'll show too much of the criminal, I think, element, not so much of the good guy and what's going on. And I feel like this series did a great job showing the good guys, them stopping the criminals. And, and I really enjoy that. And I've been a huge fan of Magnum P.I., Columbo. And I feel like this fits right in with like the Magnum P.I. type idea of like, it was serious at times, but it had lightheartedness. It was well written. And, and I think Carlton Coos, who created it, did a great job with it. And, and I did enjoy it going back, watching it now. And I've been watching Ma Miami Vice again as well. And Miami Vice was a little bit more serious toned. It did have comedy and things like that, but it was a little bit more serious toned. This leaned a little bit more into the comedy side of it, and a little bit more lighthearted. And I enjoyed that. It was nice having a little bit of a difference between them and seeing Don Johnson act a little bit different than he did in Miami Vice. The series, because it ran from 1996 to 2001, it had a total of 122 episodes. So it was on for quite a while. And they've actually been talking about recently about reviving the series. In 2019, at the end of 2019, I think it was like November was when they announced that they're considering reviving the series as a like two hour movie event to kind of tell where he's been in San Francisco for the last X amount of years since 2001 to kind of get you caught up. And then they're debating on actually doing maybe a mini series after that. So it's kind of a good time to be talking about the series right now as well, because it's something that they're looking at doing that they are looking at bringing back at least as a movie mini series, kind of like what they did with X-Files when they came back with that years later. They're looking at doing the same thing with uh, Nash Bridges with the original actors and director. So I, I, I'm all down for that. I think it's gonna be great. So Nash Bridges was on CBS and CBS did release, and if you can see this here, it says on here, and I'll show you this as we're going along, but it's CBS Blu-ray. So when you get this, I initially thought because it had the CBS logos and CBS Blu-ray, it was gonna be as high quality as like some of their Star Trek remasters, things like that. And VEI is who sub basically is doing this release. So it's not a direct CBS release, it's them subbing it out and VEI doing it. But regardless of that, there is only so much that they have that they can remaster on this. So go into it with those expectations uh, and I'll, I'll break down what you see as it goes on. Don Johnson stars in this with Cheech Marin as the San Francisco Department's Elite Special Investigations Unit. So it's kind of a unique thing because they're not just some regular detectives that you normally have. They do, they'll go undercover and they get sent on these things that normal detectives and um, special investigations, they do special things. So it, it added a unique element to the series that I did like. His yellow car is great in it, sounds great in it, looks great. I always loved his sports car in it and I thought that was a nice thing. It kind of reminds me of, if you guys ever watched, and I have it back up there as well, Starsky and Hutch and any of those where they had like a classic car in it. And I know a lot of you will talk about Dukes of Hazard and things like that as well, but kind of like Kit from Knight Rider, you got shows like that that had a classic car. This one had his classic yellow sports car in it, which I thought was nice. It's kind of like one of those things like Starsky and Hutch. And then, you know, thinking about it, Nash Bridges kind of reminds me a bit of Starsky and Hutch as well. Kind of like, but I don't want to digress too much, but it does kind of remind me a little bit of that. So Nash Bridges is a very likable character in it. And Don Johnson does a great job. So if you're wanting something that maybe you haven't seen in a while, or maybe you have seen it and you love it, I did enjoy the show. It's there's not too much other than it's a police procedural and there are several episodes where there's two parters, three parters, things like that. So it does uh, keep those types of elements where you have an ongoing story and you kind of like his characters and you like Cheech Marin and they do a good job with those characters. So it is recommended as far as the show goes, if you haven't seen it and you like things like Magnum PI, Columbo, uh, obviously you like Miami Vice, things like that, 
you're definitely going to like this show. It's well done, it's well written, it's well acted, and the characters do a good job in it. And you got six seasons up. So let's go into this box set here. I want to break down the box set for you and give you an idea of what you can expect image quality and the show as far as basically how they did this box set. So that way you know if it's worth your time to buy it and you're going to want to get it and own it yourself. So Nash Bridges here, the Blu-ray set, comes in a, and I apologize, mine does have some damage. When I was moving, I actually damaged the box set it, uh, in a crate got damaged. So that is just the way it is. So it is taped up. Yours won't come this way. When you order it from Amazon, they won't ship it to you this way. But this is mine. Uh, my box set did get damaged. So you'll have to bear with me here. That is my damage, not something you're going to have. So you're going to have the box set here. It has a nice picture on the back here. It does say VEI, the company, and then CBS, Blu-ray, Nass Bridges, the complete collection. And then obviously I showed you the front here. It says all 122 episodes. So this is the entire series in one box set. Then you have all the seasons here. And try to show you here from the side here. So it lists all your seasons out. You got um, one, two, three, four, five, and six, which is really nice. It says CBS Blu-ray on top and then VEI right below it. And then on the back, you got obviously crime doesn't stand a chance. It explains a little bit about the show. It shows a nice picture of Don Johnson with like a target around him. Then you have obviously top here, Nash Bridges Complete Collection. And then the bottom has all of your data on it. And this I'm gonna break down here for you guys here in just a minute. And I always put up pictures up here as we're going along of what I'm showing you here. But this here that you see here, I'm gonna break down what this says on it and kind of give you an idea of what you can expect out of it. It is an aspect ratio of 4.3. So when you look at your screen and you have a regular widescreen 1080p or 4K TV, that's normally widescreen 16 by nine, you're gonna have the pillar boxes on the side. So when you have a 16 by nine TV where it's regular widescreen TV, a 4K or 1080p TV, you're gonna have the pillar boxes that run along the side here, the black bars, just like the old TV. And that's simply because that's how it was filmed at that time and they have not opened up the frame on this because my understanding is it's just like Star Trek was. There's cast that basically are standing around, lighting equipment, you can see the boom equipment. So that's partially why this show, just like some of those other ones like uh, Magnum PI, things like that never actually opened up that frame why it's still in the middle. Um, it's simply because otherwise you would see things that would take away from the show and the directors don't want that and I don't want that either and there's no reason for that because then all of a sudden the show's going to lose that you're going to notice that you're not really into the characters feeling like hey this is something really going on you're going to see people stand there with a mic and things so I understand why they didn't do that but that is what the screen will have is, is it'll have your black bars running along the side here. So then continuing on it does say and this is kind of an interesting thing it says region one now it looks like to me they use the same data that they used for their dvd release on the box saying it's region one region one only applies to dvds so they made an error on the box on that it says region one but it would be region a which is a usa release but the show does not have any problems playing in any of my blu-ray players now here's what's interesting is is my blu-ray players that are region free as well as my Blu-ray players that are Region A. It seems to be that these Blu-rays were not region coded or locked specifically for a region. So they do play in Region A and it looks like they would most likely play in all regions. So therefore, I would take that to seem that it would be a region free set. So that would mean that no matter where you buy this or watch this, you'd be able to buy these and watch these because there's no coding coming up when I search for the coding in it. It doesn't have a region lock on it. So that was nice on them. So I would take that as and take this with a grain of salt. But from what I'm seeing on what it's playing on, it doesn't have region coding on it. So I would take that as to be that it's region free. Um, so going through it, obviously it's a color set. It does have English audio. Now the English audio on this, and it's kind of interesting because I noticed there was a change in audio as the show went on slightly. It got about season two, halfway through season two to three, the audio got way crisper and clearer. It does say it's English stereo audio, but it seems like to me that because the film reels for the early first and then part of the second season, the quality image quality on them is a slightly less than what you're going to have for the rest of the series. I would say you're looking at somewhere in the range of like 480p image quality for the first, basically first and then halfway through the second season, and then you'll notice an uptick in detail, and it gets 
quite a bit better as the series goes on. Now that would also be strictly because the series was filmed to a certain point. I think it was season three and a half was when they switched over from standard definition to high definition. So you start to notice as the series goes on, it actually gets clearer and looks better as the series goes on. So the audio quality on it is Dolby Digital Stereo. And it sounds fine. It sounds better than what they had on the DVDs. The DVDs had a lot of issues with muffled voices and it wasn't real clear. So they did a lot better job with the audio on this. Now, would I say it's a full remastered audio? No, it's not as good as some of the other sets that I've seen and what they've done with the audio to upgrade them to like 5.0, 7.1, it's not that good, but it is Dolby Digital. They did a little bit better job clearing up the audio, increasing the stage of the audio a little bit better than what the DVDs had. So as far as that goes, this is the best that has been released and this is the best that I think we're gonna get of Nash Bridges unless for some reason CBS were to step in and decide to release this a full remaster that they spend a ton of time working on, but I don't see it because yes, the series was popular, but not nearly as popular as a lot of these other CBS releases that they're working on. Like we talked about, they're doing a Mission Impossible one that I've released a video about before, and that one's coming out here soon, and that one they're doing a full remaster on because that was extremely popular, it had numerous spin-offs, and obviously it's had how many movies with Tom Cruise. So they have a lot of other more popular series that I think they're gonna remaster, which is why this one's released on Blu-ray, but they didn't spend a ton, a ton of time remastering. Talking about this before we get into the actual Blu-ray cases and breaking those each down for you, the show itself image quality, I just wanna point this out because some of you say, well, how do I rate what the image quality is gonna be on this versus the DVDs? What I see is about a 25% to 30% uptick in audio quality, image quality, Obviously, it's a lot less discs. So this whole set in it has a total of 16 Blu-ray discs. The DVD set that was released had 27 DVD discs. So obviously, you're getting a much more compact set. I do like Blu-rays better, and that, that should be automatic here. Blu-rays don't scratch as easily as DVDs. The image quality, just because they put it on Blu-rays and the things that they added to it and the slight remaster they did, obviously it has better colors, pop, more clarity behind it. Now, am I gonna say this is absolutely gorgeous and a complete, absolute remaster? No, it's like it's like a 30% at max remaster to the image quality, but I've had numerous other sets that I've talked to you about before. Like There are things in Germany that they released that are called SD on Blu-ray. This is slightly better than an SD on Blu-ray, I would say. And that's why I said you're looking at about 30% on this, whereas an SD on Blu-ray, maybe you're looking at a 20% uptick over the DVDs. And, and I'll kind of break down the cases here as we're talking here. So you got the first season here, and this is obviously your first season. And the cases are nice. I like how they did them in individual Blu-ray cases for each season, so you can take one out. I always said I like when they do these box sets with individual cases, and I thought they did a good job with these. They've got nice artwork on each one, goes through the same things that I explained to you where it says CBS Blu-ray, VEI, and then it obviously talks about that how many episodes and how long it is. Then you go inside, there's not much inside, so it's a basic, you got season one was pretty short. You had your one disc that all your episodes are on one di Blu-ray discs for season one. And that was simply because season one was only six hours and 15 minutes long and that's how short season one was, but it did have a bunch of special features on it as well. And on the back of it, it's got, it got a round table behind the scenes talking about season one, on-set interviews with Don Johnson, Cheech Marin, audio commentaries on a bunch of the different episodes, and then basically Don Johnson and the original Gonzo idea, which is another like them talking about it behind the scenes and things like that, and then a season one promo. So they did do a bunch of special features on this, which I did like. I, they seem to be the similar ones that they carried over from the DVD set. The special features are not in any way remastered or upscaled. They are the same SD. They didn't do anything with them as what they did with the DVDs. The, the special features you're getting on this are the same as what the special features were on the DVDs. They're just put on Blu-ray discs. The image, the audio quality is what they slightly up remastered and made look a little better on the Blu-rays. So that's your season one. Season two, and again, I do like the cover art, and, and I know that cover art doesn't sell you on the entire show, but I did like how each Blu-ray case, they did something different on it. So you had something new to pull out when you pulled out season two, and I liked how 
kind of a throwback to Miami Vice in case you don't notice the picture. If you had to change these colors to maybe a little bit of pinkish sky with a little bit of a purple tunic, things like that, you'd have had a Miami Vice cover here. But anyhow, I did like this. So then you got your side, which I already showed you that before. And then you're back again. Each one has unique their own cover art on them, which I did like that a lot. That they they did special cover art for each release of the seasons as they went along. Now on this one, special features are a lot less. Season one had a lot more special features on it. Season two is a round table talking the cast, talking about season two, audio commentaries by Don Johnson, Cheech Marin, and Carlton Cruz. So those are all on there. Now obviously season two is a lot longer. And season two was 17 hours and 52 minutes. And that's because on season two, you're going to have disc one and disc two. Now, season two was two discs long. All the episodes for season one and two, it's slightly longer, obviously, than what you had on season one. But all your discs are right here. And I did like, again, the case I thought was really nice. You can take out the discs and behind them is disc three. And I did like that, how the discs are stacked on a spindle and they aren't scratched. The cases were really nicely done. And I did like that, that they're on a spindle, they're stacked right in there. And obviously there's three discs to season two. All right, season three. Again, new cover art, different than what you had on the other ones. Every single one of them has a different cover art on it. I did like that, it has Blu-ray up here, but then obviously your case is Blu-ray too. So side of it here, it says third season. And then under and over the top, talks about the show a little bit again, and then it explains about the show. Now, season three was 1997 and 1998. Obviously audio is English, stereo, Dolby Digital. And then your runtime is 17 hours and 39 minutes. So this one, very similar to season two. And when you open it up, you got your discs here. And these ones are gonna be obviously disc one, disc two, and then the other disc, disc three. So as far as this season went, again, three discs, the other two discs are stacked on top of it. This one did not have any special features. Your first two seasons had special features on it. Third season did not. So keep that in mind that third season didn't, first two seasons did. Season four of Nash Bridges here, new cover art, then you got your side, fourth season, and then on the back, a little explanation about what happens in season four a little bit, and then obviously it goes through explaining this was 1998 to 1999, um, same audio, but this season was longer. It's 18 hours and eight minutes. So this is when you start to get longer the fourth season on, they did get longer from here on out. So in season four, you have disc one right here is your disc one. Then you have disc two on this side and then behind disc two and there's your disc three. And it has all the episodes listed on each disc. Let me put this down here. So it does have on each disc, just like the previous three seasons, all your episodes that are on each disc are listed out, which I always like that. So when you get the disc, you know what episodes are on that as you're looking through them. It tells you the disc, and then it obviously tells you what episodes are in it. And so this one, again, no special features on the fourth season. So your first two seasons are where your special features are contained on those seasons so far. So this one was a little bit longer, three Blu-ray discs on this one. Now, now that we've kind of gotten to season four, before I go through the last two cases here of that series, it was about season three when you start to notice even a more uptick in detail and the colors. Now, even season one, because it's a Blu-ray, and as I'm going along, I kind of showed you some of the screenshots as we're going along here. All of these screenshots that I'm showing you as we're going along, you'll notice that the colors are got a lot more pop than the DVDs do. The image quality is better, but I'm not gonna say it's not a full remaster. It's not gonna be like, wow, look at that person's, <laughs> not trying to offend anybody, but look at that person's lines in their head or look at every individual hair on their head. You know, sometimes when you see those remasters that are done in true 1080p or 4K remasters, things like that, it's so clear. You can see every pore on their face and you can see, you know, wrinkles on their head and you can see every little hair. It's not gonna be like that. It's it's an upgrade over the DVDs, about 25 to 30%. But if I were to stack it next to like a the Incredible Hulk remaster that, you know, Elephant Films did, for example, or any of those remastered TV shows. So that's where you gotta, you gotta temper your expectations. It's, it's not gonna be, wow, this is shocking. It's gonna be, this looks good. It's, it's better than the DVDs and it's the best that we've gotten. And it's the best, to be honest with you, that I don't, I don't know that it's gonna be released again. I think this is gonna be the best that it is. The, the 
film reels. They said they lost a lot of them. Some of them they even said they had to get from old DVD or VHS copies, things like that, because there was a lot of things that were damaged when they went to go do it um, or lost. So that's my understanding is, is that this is this is it for now. And, and if they do something or somehow digitally go back and do it, great. But I don't know that that's going to be because this set was released 2016 was when VEI released this. So the set was released in 2016. Therefore, I take that as we're, at, you know, 2020 here. You know, you've got four years, almost to 2021 here, five years ago that this set was released and they haven't touched it again. That, that's all that they've done. So therefore, this set I think is going to be the best we're going to get. If they release it again, great, we can upgrade again. But for now, this is the best upgrade above DVDs that we're going to get. So with that expectation, the screenshots that you're seeing, they do look good. It's not going to be again, uh, shocking, wow, this is like some of those other Blu-ray reviews. When you get it, temper your expectations. It's a good show. It's worth getting. I suggest buying it because it's better than what you're going to get on the DVDs. And it's a smaller set. The Blu-rays are nice. The Blu-ray cases are nice. But don't go into it expecting me to say, hey, it's going to be blow you out of the water like some of these sets are just fantastic. It's good, but it's not fantastic and I'll give you a review score at the end once I've gotten done going through this of here's what I think all of it breaks down to for you here's what I think about if you should get it here's what I think let's keep going on the cases here so all right now we're into this is season five so obviously new cover art you got the side here and then the back again explains a little bit about it uh, tells you it was 1999 to 2000 and it was 16 hours and 37 minutes for this season. And then same thing with your Blu-rays. You got your pictures on them here. And then disc one tells you your episodes as always on each disc. As the other sets have, you got your disc one, disc two, and then behind this is disc three. And same cover picture for this season. It just has your different episodes listed on it. So three discs for this season as well, three Blu-ray discs. That's season five. No special features on this. Those were all, again, contained on season one and season two. And then we get to the final season. This is the sixth and final season here. Your Blu-ray case. And then you got your back here. And then your side. And then you got your inside here. And you got, obviously, disc one, disc two, and then the third disc is behind this one. So just on this side is always the stack discs. This one's always your disc one. And it lists off your episode titles again with slightly different color and slightly different artwork. Each one had slightly different on the disc so you know the difference between each season. Which I did like that, how they tied together. If you notice, it's a purple streak right here. And if you notice, the theme on this case is purple. So that way you know, I mean, it says on the disc anyways, but they did tie that together nicely. And each disc had its separate cover art, which I did like that. They took the time to make sure that that was different on it as well. So that way it was a little bit nicer of a set. I've seen some companies go the cheaper route where they just use the same picture on every single case. The Magnum PI set was that way on the back. They used the same picture for every back of the case and things like that and on the disc. Whereas this set, each they did some slightly different things for each picture on the front, the back's different. And then obviously the discs had slightly different on them, so you could tell the difference on them easily. So I did like that. So season six, again, no special feature. So when the set's all put together, it looks nice. All in together as one set. Now, they do sell each season individually. And for this set, I will put in the description below the link to Amazon to the Nash Bridges set. And that's an affiliate link that actually will take you directly to buy the Nash Bridges set through Amazon. And they actually have the set available. They do have it individual seasons. And I'll put that down, listing out the individual seasons down in the description below that. The first link will be obviously your Nash Bridges, the complete Blu-ray collection. And then below them, I'll list each season out individually. You can buy them individually, but it does end up costing quite a bit more. I think it came out to like, I think it was 150 bucks or 140 bucks when it was all said and done to buy each one individually. The complete collection, just like this on Amazon, I think they range anywhere between 80 to 95, $100, somewhere in there, depending on when you get it on sale. But I think they, they roughly stay around like 90 bucks, something like that. So it's a pretty decent deal for the entire series. All six seasons, 122 episodes. And I say partially remastered. Not that it's not remastered or, or made to look better, but it was not a full remaster, so I'm gonna call it a partial remaster. But I'm just trying to make sure that I'm upfront with you about what you're gonna expect out of the quality of it. 
Now, as we're talking about here, I'm gonna to continue to show you some screenshots of it so maybe you can get kind of an idea of what it looks like. Now, if any of those screenshots come across with a reddish tone or anything like that, I've heard that in the past, again, I can't do anything about that. That's simply with all of the video processing that goes through when you upload videos to YouTube, when you record it, then you upload it, then the processing software, and then your phone or your TV plays it. Each one of those has their own video processing that either adds color or subtracts color or changes the color slightly. So when you watch this video, if it does show their skin tones red, it doesn't look that way when you're watching it. Their skin tones look natural normally on a TV. It's just all the video processing. Sometimes will change those screenshots slightly. So you might see it slightly different when you're watching this video. And there's nothing I can do about that. Your device changes that just slightly, just like I'm sure it changes the way I look slightly. First season and then a little bit of the second season, has a little bit less than that. I'd probably say the first and second season is only about a 15 to 20% uptick in color and detail over the DVDs. And then once you get past season one into season two and three and on, it gets a lot clearer. It gets much more color, vibrant colors. Um, the sound sounded pretty good throughout the whole thing. So as far as that, I'd say that stayed pretty consistent. The sound quality was about, you know, 20 to 30% upgrade over the DVD the whole time. So that, that didn't change that much, but the video quality does. The video quality gets slightly better as it goes on. So, but the most you're gonna get to is about a 30% uptick in quality over what the DVDs had. I enjoyed the series. I didn't notice too much of issues with playing it. There was no issues there. Every once in a while you'd have something where you'd be watching it and maybe the image would uh, pause for a second and then keep going, but there wasn't, that was, out of the whole 122 episodes, maybe I noticed maybe four or five episodes had some mismastering just slightly in them. It didn't, didn't skip the episode or skip a scene. It just would like kind of like pause a second and then keep going. And that might just have been the mismaster because it wasn't CBS Blu-ray that did the remaster completely. They, I guess, outsourced it to VEI and VEI did this on their own. And so they were a much smaller company, obviously. If you've ever looked into them, they're a much smaller company than what CBS is. So the master on it and things like that was not done as high quality as CBS would have done. But I think this is the best we're gonna get. And, and as far as that goes, I would recommend it. Good show, well worth watching. If you've ever watched Nash Bridges, it's an entertaining, classic police procedural, and, and it's got a lot of comedy in it. So as far as that goes, I definitely recommend the series. Now, as far as my score goes for this series, and this is for Nash Bridges, the complete series. Now, I would always suggest you get it as the complete series set. That way you have the entire thing to watch it from beginning to end and you own the whole thing. You can buy them individual seasons, like I told you, they are available. You can buy each one on your own if you wanna start that way and collect them all, start with season one and get them as you go along and watch them, that's fine too. The links for those will be down in the description right below this video from Amazon. You can go in and click and either buy them individually or the complete series link will be there as well. But as far as the series goes, I wanna give you a score on it so that way you know what I thought the quality altogether compared to some of the other sets I've done on a review on. Now, I did like the show, I really like the show. So when I'm giving this review score, it does have a percentage of it because I like the show itself but then another percentage of it, I take into account the quality of the remaster and this Blu-ray release, if I really feel like on this partial remaster, um, what the quality is compared to some of the other remasters that I've been reviewing. So on this one, it's gonna get a 7.7. .7. I know that seems low compared to some of the other sets that I've done, but that's because I want your expectations to be, it's not a 9.0, it's not an 8.0. It's not an 8.5, it's, it's a 7.7. .7. And it's a good score for the show, but most of that is because of the show was good. The Blu-ray release itself was not as good as I, I wished it would have been. The Blu-ray quality on it and things like that is not going to be anywhere near what you would have gotten if they would have done it by CBS, like what they did with Star Trek, or like I said, we've talked about Magnum PI, Incredible Hulk, Murder, She Wrote. I mean, there's so many shows that I've been going through that the remasters on were done really well. And this one just was not a great job. Going into that, if you go into it with that expectation, you'll really enjoy the show. So the 7.7, I'm not deterring you from buying it. I'm saying, get the show for yourself. The show's well worth it. I think we should support the Blu-ray release. It's not super expensive, like I said, 90 bucks, if that, for the entire series, all six seasons, I mean, I think it's a great deal. You have it on Blu-ray, then you've got a lot less discs. It's a lot smaller of a case than what you're gonna have for any of the DVD sets. And then it's got everything combined into one set. And I did like that. The discs, obviously Blu-ray discs don't scratch as easy, and I like Blu-ray discs anyway. So for me, 
I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I gave the show a second chance after the DVDs that I had that I, I didn't really think were that well done. I am glad that I came back and decided to give the Blu-ray set a chance because it is better than the DVDs. And anytime you get any upgrade, that's kind of what when you're collecting physical media we're looking for is an upgrade in quality. And, and this is a slight upgrade in quality. Now, if you want to keep your DVDs, you're welcome to keep those. And if you want to try a season or two of that, go right ahead. But I would suggest buying the whole set, support what they are releasing, because that's what's going to get us more and better remasters. And who knows, maybe VEI later on will come back and say, hey, we saw Nash Bridges started selling better, and hey, we saw another one of our sets, let's try to do a better job with our next remaster that we do on Blu-ray. I don't know. As of now, they haven't released much else on Blu-ray. Most of their stuff is DVDs, and I have most of their other releases. but. This was released on Blu-ray and it did look better than their DVD release, so I do suggest that. So you're looking at a 7.7 .7 for this review score. The show's great if you haven't seen it. I do like Carlton Coos. I think he does a great job. He did a great job on Lost. That is one of my all-time favorite shows of all time. And I think this was a great job for him writing and producing this show, that they did a great job on it. And Don Johnson's always a likable character. If you like Miami Vice, you, I bet you you've already seen the series if you've watched Miami Vice because it has a lot of similarities to things that they tie into that as well. And it's just a good show all around. Uh, a little bit more comedic, obviously, like I said. But I would definitely suggest getting it. It's it's an enjoyable series, something you can watch with your wife and, and, and get into and not too intense. And that's what I look for is a lot of the times when you watch something before you go to bed, you don't want something so intense that you can't sleep then. And maybe you don't have a problem with it, but I've noticed that if I watch something too intense, a lot of times I have a hard time sleeping or you have dreams about So I try to stick to things that are more lighthearted, um, things that have a good story, but that, that don't don't drag me down to where, you know, you got intense dreams, I'll say. So I did enjoy the series. I definitely recommend it. I would suggest getting the Blu-ray of all the editions that have been released, the DVDs versus this. I would get the Blu-ray hands down. It does look better. 7.7 .7 isn't bad. It's just not, it's not going to be up there with the remasters that you had before. So take that with a grain of salt. I did tell you, so you know to temper your expectations. Otherwise, I do appreciate all your time today. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. I worked really hard on this one to go through it to try to get this out for you because I'm trying to get you guys a little bit of a different, some of these reviews I've done, I find some more modern shows, I find some older shows. A lot of what I stick to is a lot of older shows, but I did try to get you guys a little bit of a variety. So you have something new all the time, so you never know what to expect from me. And I'm always trying to give you something exciting, something new that maybe you didn't know about, maybe you weren't expecting. So I hope this is one that kind of surprised you, that kind of came out of nowhere that maybe you didn't know about, and maybe you'll want to get. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this today. I've enjoyed spending time together with you guys. As always, I enjoy doing these. I appreciate every single one of you that subscribed and liked these videos. I, I ask that you please continue to subscribe and like these videos. And click the bell notification down there below. And then always we have the links for the shirts down there if you do decide that you want to get a shirt to support the channel as well. I appreciate that as well. Any of those links that you click down there help support the channel too. So I really appreciate that too. That helps me to continue growing and bringing you new content. Please always share these videos with anyone you know. That always helps too. I appreciate all of you, and I hope all of you have a blessed day, and I look forward to the next time we get to spend together going through another great review.